The bridge over the River Kwai might quite possibly be one of the world's most famous bridges. But why? Today we will find out why and see if it's really worth a visit. Parts of this video is going to shock you and I'm not speaking clickbait, I mean this quite literally. We will also go visit what might possibly be the worst named market in the world. The River Kwai Bridge is located about 140 kilometers, that's about 85 miles, outside of Bangkok, Thailand. The easiest way to get there from Bangkok is by car. What's the big deal about this bridge anyway? My journey begins with a 20-minute riverboat ride from my Riverside Hotel, which is the perfect time to talk a bit about why this bridge became so famous in the first place. The bridge over the River Kwai was an important part of the Burma Railway intended to go between Bangkok, Thailand and Rangoon, Burma, that is today's Myanmar. The bridge was constructed by the invading Japanese forces during the Second World War. To understand the railway's importance, we first need to understand why it was built in the first place. In early 1942, Japanese forces invaded Burma and seized control of the colony from the United Kingdom. To support their forces in Burma, the Japanese depended upon the sea, bringing supplies and troops to Burma around the Malay Peninsula and through the Straits of Malacca. You of course know exactly where the Strait of Malacca is, but as a gentle reminder, I've pointed it out on this map. As you can see, this narrow strait is a perfect hangout for Allied submarines. Because the route was vulnerable to attack and to avoid a hazardous sea journey around the Malay Peninsula, a railway from Bangkok to Rangoon seemed like a feasible alternative. The railway was completed in 1943 and the bridge over the River Kwai is one of a total of 600 bridges on the Burma Railway. The railway was in use until the end of the war, after which it fell into British hands. Today, parts of the railway is still in use, whereas other parts have been abandoned. Why has this bridge in particular become so important? The bridge was made famous by, and I'm sorry for my poor French here, Pierre Boulez's novel, The Bridge Over the River Kwai. The film adaptation of the same name is one of the greatest films ever made and which I highly recommend you go watch if you haven't already. The film tells the story of the horrific conditions the prisoners of war and slaves who built the bridge had to work under. Between 180,000 and 250,000 Southeast Asian civilians and over 60,000 Allied prisoners of war were subject to forced labor during the construction of the Burma Railway. Around 90,000 civilians died, as did more than 12,000 Allied prisoners. The bridge over the River Kwai has become symbolic of the horrors of war. And with that, let's spend a minute cruising the Kwai River.
let's lighten the mood a bit as we approach the bridge with a couple of fun facts. Fun fact number one. The correct Thai pronunciation of the river Kwai is not Kwai, but Kwe. Fun fact number two. The Thai word for river is Me Nam, which literally translates into mother of water and must be the most beautiful word for river that I've ever come across. As our captain leaves us by the riverside, we make our way up to the bridge. At one end, you'll find a typical Thai market selling all sorts of delicious foods. The fruits are particularly good in Thailand. Drinks, clothes, and various trinkets. I buy a Fanta served Thai style and a roasted coconut. The first thing I notice when arriving at the end of the bridge is that these railroad tracks are in use. Unused railroad tracks are rusty on top, these are not. Do they drive trains across the bridge filled with people? I got the answer to that question faster than I thought I would. Considering my visit was off-season, I'd imagine the bridge to be quite a bit more crowded than today. High season in Thailand is summer and around Christmas. Walking across the bridge, I encountered a bunch of stand-up paddleboarders and this neat-looking temple. All the way along the bridge, you'll find these small balconies, which will become important quite soon. Some of them even offer free electricity. All you need to do is reach out and touch it. This being the internet, I probably must add a disclaimer to not touch active power lines in case some morons do and try to sue me. At the far side of the bridge, you'll find a prisoner of a war camp themed market. The market was quite deserted when I was there at daytime, which probably means it's a nighttime market. The curious part about this market, however, is its name. For you see, the sign in Thai does not correspond to the sign in English. In fact, the Thai sign translates to Concentration Camp Market. And if you're curious, you will find it as Concentration Camp Market on Google Maps. As a Norwegian, I am pretty sure this name would not fly in Europe. After making my way across the bridge, I got an answer to the question, is the bridge in use? Indeed it is. If you're one of the lucky ones walking on the tracks as the train arrives, you will have to move onto one of the small balconies the ones with free electricity. In conclusion, should you visit the bridge over the River Kwai, I most surely enjoyed the trip. From a historical perspective, the bridge is an important symbol of the horrors of war. From a more mundane perspective, where else can you walk in the middle of a railway bridge while the train is crossing? Where else can you have a drink in the concentration camp market? And finally, the boat ride was great fun. If you have the opportunity, stay a few nights on one of the many resorts along the river and order your boat ride from the reception.
My name is PK, a Norwegian living both in Bangkok, Thailand and Oslo, Norway. Have you been to the bridge over the river Kwai? Did I miss something? Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did, maybe I've earned a like, share, comment or subscribe. It helps tremendously.